how does endometriosis affect fertility is a question that I often get asked. And the truth is that it depends. It depends on whether the endometriosis is, a, is in the form of an endometrioma, which is in the ovary, or whether it's generalized within the pelvic cavity. Both ways, it's going to negatively impact the quality of the egg and it causes inflammation in the pelvic region that is not ideal. Certainly endometriosis causes pain, it can cause painful intercourse, and you know it will, again, reduce the quality of the eggs that are produced. It can also, if endometriosis grows in the tubes, in the fallopian tubes, then it's also going to be a problem for helping the, or for getting the, egg, the, the sperm to get into the egg. So of course, then there is a barrier issue that is also taking place. So how do you address that? You know, how do we reverse that situation? In certain, certain instances, what's going to be required is surgery. Because if you have a, um, there's four gradings of endometriosis. Grade four is obviously the most severe. If anything from grade two to four is going to very quite severely, to moderately to severely impact the ability to conceive and keep a healthy pregnancy to term. And the metriosis can also impact implantation. So what we need to make sure of is that we do all of the things that are gonna be required to optimize a couple's health and fertility. And this is in our practice, this is very much how we approach the situation. And once we've got a handle on all of the different minor factors that may be getting in the way, then we may recommend surgery depending on the severity of the condition. And of course, the severity of the condition, because you can only really diagnose endometriosis by, um, by laparoscopy, which is the surgery that also helps to treat endometriosis, can be a little bit tricky. But some women have more symptoms than others. You know, some women have endometriosis and have no symptoms, and other women have um, very mild endometriosis. And because of the types of adhesions and where the adhesions are forming, they have a lot of symptoms. So it's a little bit tricky to be able to know, you know, exactly um, who may or may not have endometriosis. The signs and symptoms are varied. So from painful intercourse to uh, painful periods to, um, you know, just having uh, bleeding in different areas that aren't, you know, you can have endometrial tissue going to your nose, for example, and then you, you might have a monthly bleed from endometriosis. So it's there's many different types of symptoms like that that need to be looked out for. But the reality of it is that like fibroids, you are not able to necessarily with natural treatment reverse what was already created. What you can do is you can decrease the exacerbation of the of the endometriotic, you know, the endometriosis process. So really what needs to happen is that we need to make sure that we are as best as possible optimizing every aspect of one's health. And that will help to optimize fertility in conjunction with surgery which may be required down the track. Um, as I was saying before, for our patients, we will do all of that work first and then recommend surgery if we feel that it's still necessary. And in many instances it is. Um, in many instances cleaning up the endometriosis will help to improve the odds of conception and having a healthy baby. Particularly if the endometriosis is in the ovary in the form of an endometrioma, it absolutely needs to be drained so that you can have the best quality egg and of course the best possible chance of conception down the track. So I hope that helps and until next time, bye for now.